Okay. <clears throat> Round four, we're two and one. We will keep this hand. Um, three lands, four spells is pretty good. Can't ask for too much more than that. Uh, well then. Uh, main deck ley lines. Really interesting. Um, does make brutality bad. I'm going to do this now. Uh, Godless Shrine. Although, so that's probably bad. So what, I should have thought through this a little bit more. Main deck ley line. All right. Well, usually it can mean red-white prison. Um, which means Blood Moon, which means save your fetch lands for when you know what you're playing against. Um, so that was a, kind of a mistake there. This, uh, the only thing I can think of right now that played main deck Leyline, Blooming Marsh into Thoughtseize would be um, um, Lantern. So... Anyway, might be Lantern. Can't cast this, which is tough. Uh, can really only beat Lantern with uh, discard spells and some pressure. And they took my only pressure, so here we are. If it's Lantern, we're probably dead. If it's just a weird Jund or Obzon deck, then we're probably okay. Like, the Leyline does shut off a lot of our cards, but... Yeah, I mean, maybe Green Black Tron, but it's probably Amulet. Which is not a good matchup for this deck at all. We'll find out right now. Let's... It's could be Tron. Okay, there you go. There we go. That's Amulet. Yep. And they have <laughs> Snare Bridge on top, huh? I'm almost positive there's not a single way for me to beat an Ensnaring Bridge that's resolved in the main deck. Um, other than not being able to play their cards, obviously. Which is a possibility. Um, do not want to shuffle away souls. So, not fetch. And make a 2-2 two -two and hope our opponent can't play anything, I guess. Pixis of Pandemonium, A. Eh? Fifteen needle soaring. You got it. <clears throat> and then the Pixis, and then they can cast anything they want, really. <clears throat> Which means even Souls doesn't do anything. And I have no way of making them draw cards. So, end result is I lose. If for some reason they can't draw both the cards, or can't play both the cards they draw, okay. Yeah, I mean, we're done here. Um, we can we can uh, look at my deck list for funsies, but a uh, resolved ensnaring bridge has no answers in my main deck. 
and only one on my sideboard. And uh, we talked about this in the deck tech as well. So, like I said, we are done here. Um, trying to stay positive because we are recording right now, but I, uh, this is probably the only deck that tilts me out. Um, every other deck don't care as much. Push is bad, Alliance is bad. All the discard, all the surgicals, brutality, all the threats. Definitely unmaking, and we said we brought in stony silences for just this reason. What do we want to lose? Um, oh, let's lose the paths. I'm not going to path my own creatures, um, not often enough. Can maybe lose a virtue because it's bad against the snaring bridge, although. Might just speed up the clock, and I think I just died on Snaring Bridge anyway. I don't know that I can. Realistically, they're going they're going to empty their hand, and I don't think I can beat it. So maybe just Lily's too slow. Same thing. If they don't have a bridge, I can win anyway. They have a bridge. Her ultimate doesn't do anything. All right. Easy enough. I would love to play first. Thoughtsies, Thoughtsies, Brutality. Stony Silence. Alright, well, barring a ley line, if this hand doesn't win, granted, I would need a surgical extraction to like really solidify the deal, but um, yeah, if this hand doesn't win, it's a problem. I guess that's the thing about their deck is just, I mean, they can always just top deck a ensnaring bridge unless I um, surgical extraction. Um, do I want a Thoughtseize now, Thoughtseize again, and then Stony? Probably. The other option is just Bent and then Stony and then start Thoughtseizing later, but yeah. Um, Boy, I don't want them to thought seize Stony Silence, and I can take. The, wait a second, did I Mox? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine here. Okay, just want to make sure they couldn't cast like a turn one and snaring bridge or something like that. So we need to now thought seize there. Bridge and then cast Stony Silence. And then be on our merry way. Bell, Lantern, Opal. Okay. Now I just need a surgical extraction and we're good to go. Lilian is good also, definitely. <clears throat> That's another consideration. Just to get that on now. They'll probably mill me though. Milled Leyline, huh? So what they do? Lantern, bell, clue. Okay. So they have nothing in their hand. Let's do this. Let's do this. Keep my Soren, keep my threats. Get a tap land. And hope they don't have a bridge. Okay. Deal. Um, this will do nothing later in the game. Yep, 
Yep. Not sure why they didn't cast it. So they have a dead draw coming up. Academy runes? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I see how this works. I just lose again. Did I just completely punt that? I did. So I needed to ghost quarter their Academy Ruins. Okay. So really at this point we are just... Playing to... Anguish on making? Oh gosh, that's terrible. Yeah, I missed that whole thing. Um, that's why they didn't cast their Inquisition. Alright, well, this is why you guys watch, right? So you can learn from <laughs> so you can learn from my mistakes. So the deal was they didn't cast Inquisition. I noticed they didn't cast Inquisition. Probably recognized that there was a reason for it. And yet didn't think through the reasoning, and the reasoning was to activate Academy Ruins, which would have made me see the play before it happened, and Ghost Quarter their Ruins. I guess they could have done that at instant speed anyway. Yeah, alright, well, wasn't so bad, it would have happened anyway. Um... I think I'm going to lose to this, but I guess an option is, well, they're still drawing things. I need to have them draw something they can't cast, basically. Um... Which means they need to get rid of their Glimmer Void. Let's see if they... Yeah, they get a Swamp. Alright, well, and they have land on top. So really just waiting for Anguist and making. Okay. And when that does happen... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Hopefully, I'm not dead. Well, I guess a virtue would help that. Um, this is not going to be exciting by any means, and I apologize. Uh, I'm going to try to play as fast as possible. For that reason, um, I could ghost quarter my own lands just to thin out my deck a little bit. I'd rather keep surgical. Hmm. Okay, well, there's Virtue, which means I will draw that, and then I'm really just waiting for Unmaking. Um, does this choose a card name? I don't think the deck thinning is really a thing. They name Ghost Quarter, they name Ghost Quarter. Probably name Soren, so be it. Is Ghost Quarter, okay. I guess I could have hit their land if I wanted to.
Seven turns. You know what? Could surgical my own deck to thin it out? Let's do that. I'll do it on their turn. Um, Marsh Flats is worth it. Oh, they keep a hand, card in their hand just to tempt me. Now Thoughtseize, huh? Um, what else can I take out? Yeah, I can't ghost quarter in my own courtyard. Well, this is where Virtue's killing me. What did they draw? I wasn't really paying attention. That was a mistake there, too. Um, I guess... I could cast Inquisition and then choose. Okay, let's do it to myself. I'd like to keep what's ever in their hand. And then I will then surgical my own Inquisition. Well, let me tell everybody, when you are casting Surgical Extraction on your own deck to thin your deck to find your one answer, it's probably not a good thing. Shambling Bent, sure. Inquisition. Okay, just a few turns left. Although, I think it was one turn because I need to be able to cast it and lose three life and not die. Right. Okay. Well, that is game. Um, I'm going to be losing to my own Bitter Blossom here. Pretty soon. Yeah. Um, and no way to gain life outside of lifelink. So that was it. Uh, the matchup is terrible. But so be it. Um, yeah. Be back for round five. We'll try to get to three and two.